in a minute. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Good hey, everybody. We got Ozzy, true crime lover. I've learned a lot. Kitty Cat eighty one, A B, Lily Rose, Brandolin, Sunflower. So who's ready to talk about NK? Boy. Thanks. I've learned a lot. We're doing it again on Saturday. Mm hmm. Yeah, I was trying to keep up, but missed a, a whack of questions. So we'll be doing like a part two, make a game out of it, like that newlywed game or whatever it is. Yeah, we'll have a lot of fun over there. Hey, Brandilyn. Brandilyn's going to read the questions for us when we do that. Oh, nice. She said she was super scared to come on panel, but I told her she can just leave her camera off, and so she was like, okay, I'll do it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, you don't have to show your camera. What's up, Andy? I sent you the link on Facebook, dude, if you want to come up. Hey, bro. She'll put it in the chat here, too. Anybody wants to give their thoughts on the whole NK, by all means, click that link. If I don't know you, you got to have your camera on, though, because we, uh, we have some dummies like to show their private parts on the streams and stuff. What do you all think about the so-called pictures? Uh, what pictures? I've learned a lot. Hey, Crime Curious. Yeah, there's no shortage of live streams, is there? Hey, Luann. Hey, Luann. Hey, Crime Curious. Andy, that's what Mr. Cher always says, too. I'm stuffing my face. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kelly Brown. All the ones Larry put out, the one in like the parking lot where she's at the back of a vehicle. I don't think that's her. I think it, it could possibly know. be Stephanie, but I don't think it's her. Yeah. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Julie. Chicka Chicka. <laughs> that's a cool name. Hey. Hey, Julie. Hey, Jessica. Amber. Hey, Amber. So pretty much what I wanted to do with this, uh, oh, hey, Valerie, is uh, just kind of go over like all the uh, the facts about NK in regards to the Chris Watts case. Hey, Linda. Hey, Janessa. Lena Christie. Good hey, to Janessa. see you all. Hey, Mama Bear. Mama Bear. Yes, I'm related. Well, hopefully my audio sounds better. I finally got a new mic. My other one crapped itself. Yeah. Can you hear me okay? Hey, Paula. Yeah, you sound great, babe. Yeah, you're biased. <laughs> no, I would yeah, tell you if you were sounding shitty. I wouldn't want yeah. your show to be shitty. That's true. Hey, I'm Emma. Loud and clear, right on. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Francesca. Samantha. Hmm. I didn't even get to tell you yet, but on Thursday night, I got Dr. B coming out of hiding to come on my channel and Caffeine Q. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's awesome. I was excited. 
So how come all of us are more upset about this than NK was in her interviews? Who Who's upset, Teresa? Clickashika thinks, I think it's weird that Nosy Nate never noticed NK at the Watts house. Yeah, I'm thinking she probably pulled her on the back all the time. So he may never have seen her. Hey, Kat. She did say that there was one time that she went in through the front door. And then she did say after that, I think she used the back door. But she said there was once she went in through the front door. And then he would pull in through the garage and have her go through that door or something like that. Yeah. Hey, crisis cast. That's true, Teresa. Yeah. I mean, her kind of mini little breakdown. You're so little. Was just, it was like nails on a chalkboard to me. Yeah, it was super fake, though, it seemed like. Uh, yeah, it totally Ugh. seemed fake. Now that we got 53 people in here, let's go all the way back. Okay, first awesome, thing, babe. let's talk about the uh, the Google searches. Because there's been uh, a lot of controversy and a lot of, a lot of stuff talking about that. I can't, words are hard. You know what I mean? So 2017, NK Googles uh, Chris Watts and Shanann Watts. But uh, what I always wondered was, is it that someone told her to Google them? Like, how, how did she find them to want to Google them to begin with? Some people have said that uh, Chris and NK actually met before then, and that's why. Some people have said it was because of a Thrive article. So what's uh, your take, audience? And honey, what's your take? No, oh, she's muted. I'm not saying, but baby, we repeat that, please. <laughs> the Google searches. Okay. Are we talking about the search like a year prior, like in 2017? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah I... Like, how did she? Uh, like, did someone? You think someone told her mm -hmm. about Chris and Shanann to search, or do you think it was mm -hmm. a Thrive article? Like, what do you think caused her to actually Google search? So my opinion on that has recently changed because I, I thought maybe she did a Google search being sent in by a certain somebody from Shanann's past. But now I, I currently think that she did that search because I think that there's people that are definitely tied to her around YouTube. And so I think that it's possible that, I don't know, we'll say Luna or KK have ties to NK prior, like probably even 2017. Mm. So maybe that she went to some Thrive thing and seen Shanann once and they were like, oh yeah, and then maybe like she Googled her from there or something. I don't know. I, I think it was definitely some kind of Thrive event that got her to Google Shanann, I think. I don't know. I don't know. My theories have changed a little bit because if you look back in 2017 and even in 2018 um, before Shanann died, when she was doing her lives, there was people just a few months before she was murdered that were trolling her pretty hard and would Anytime she was live, they were sending her, like, puke face emojis and stuff. And she would even be like, why are you guys being so mean? Like, what's with the mm. pukey faces and stuff? So she was getting trolled really hard. And I almost wonder, because we have some people that say, you know, I've been there since the beginning or whatever. Well, if they want to put mm. themselves in the beginning like that, were they trolling her before her murder? I don't know. Yeah. I'll put or, the link in there. 
maybe she was friends with like Chris West's sister or something. And then let's just say, then Jamie would be like, yeah, you know, she's all over online or something. And then NK decided to Google her because like, I don't know, Jamie or Ronnie or somebody, I'm sorry, but her phone's been tied to Ronnie. So definitely she used to talk to Ronnie. So mm. it's not a far fetch that she could have been friendly with Jamie. Cause it seems as though Jamie makes fast friends with everybody and their mom. Yeah. And so maybe, maybe she had, because NK lived in North Carolina as well. So it's possible for real that, that Jamie could have been friends with her or, or that they had mutual friends maybe. And then NK Googled from there or something. It could be, there was a couple of people mentioned that. <clears throat> oh, we got, uh, here comes Deanna. Hey guys. Hey Deanna. Hey Deanna. Quick question for you. So, um, my question is, do you think that Chris used her Nick NK as a pawn, um, to get through all of this? Um, and he knew that he was going to be involved with her like she was, um, or like he was for those six weeks so he could have a, a scapegoat, um, mm. uh, as far as when it happened so he could pawn everything off. It wasn't me. She made me do it. That type of thing. That's so. interesting. I recently started thinking that way, actually, because mm. talking to someone when they said, you know, she really wanted that crystal and her phone pinged. Actually, babe, you made me think differently of it because you, I didn't really put two and two together that her phone pinged 45 minutes after he's already seen on Nate's camera leaving the house. He left at like 5.15, 5.30 and her phone pinged at 6.15. So then I did start questioning, did he tell her to go there? Like, hey, Shanann's not there. Go pick up that stone. Mm. Was it was it proven that there was a crystal there that she went and got though? I know there no. were stories about that, but. Well, but there he did it was like charge on a car or something he did buy purchase a stone for her okay um do you think she could have possibly been in the house um during that time and then like went out like the basement window because they said that that window was yeah locked. um yeah then... i do think she was in that house right after the murders even if, if she wasn't involved i do think and so yeah just like you said, I have in the last two weeks started questioning that maybe they were setting her up to be blamed for it. Right. Because she he, was also set to go to Survey 19 as well. She was supposed to go out there, wasn't she? Right. Um, no, I don't think so. She she didn't show up to work, though, that day. Um, or she didn't punch in or something. I don't remember the whole thing. But I don't think she was supposed to be out there. Um, but I also have questions that Troy um, may be involved as well because he he went back there that next day. Um, but I don't know. You know, there's some shady parts with him too that I, I'm wondering about. Um, I mean, I've spent hours researching. I've lost a lot of sleep doing it. But um, yeah, so I guess that's my question is if she was there maybe cleaning up or, you know, and then went out that window. Because if that window wasn't locked and there's no cameras or anything in the back, which, are, you know, that's where that window would have been, you know, it would have been a clean getaway. So, I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts? Oh, anything is possible, really. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to let you guys get back to your stream. I just had that quick question. So, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for coming Thanks, in, Deanna. Deanna. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. If anyone else wants to pop up and give your two like cents on the thinking. whole NK thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's all kinds of theories that NK was involved in the murders, that NK was there after cleaning up, you know, all, all that stuff. But I was, I was wanting to go over the stuff that we actually know and kind of get your guys' take on it, like the Google search. Because no one really talked about like how she actually got their names to search them. Why'd you get hit for privacy claims? Are you serious, Megan? Wow. And they're coming and, uh, for everybody, aren't they? CDT just got hit as well with uh, 10, I think, at least. So 54 for Nessa, 65 or 67 for Mama Kim. Uh, 10 or more for CDT and now you. 
Megan J, I had only mm. two or something like a week ago. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, they'll get cleared. Mama Kim's got cleared. It's like someone's just doing this to try and mess with people, but I mean, they don't have a lake to stand on. Hi, Veronica. Yeah, if you get hit with that stuff, dispute it for sure. Oh, I wanted Crisis to cast. try. I saw, Sorry. I just caught the end of that and I couldn't, I didn't know where the shadow was he was talking about. Yeah, crime talk, I'm not sure because it wasn't that new discovery that, uh, Mama Kim got hit for anyway. It's just it just seemed to come like randomly out of the blue. The only thing I can think of why she's not talking twin mom is because she could still get incriminated in Tammy. Hey girl. That's why I think that's the only reason I think she is staying quiet well I, yeah that and i could definitely understand why she wouldn't be uh why she'd be quiet on youtube because everybody hates her i don't think there's anybody or very few people out there who really rally on nk's side i mean i'm somewhat neutral and i think that's about as close as it gets I'm just going to try and find a a picture for you, babe, because people were asking about that nightshirt again, but I know that it's in her suitcase. I want to try and find that picture if you oh, want it. The oh, one the one she came home in? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've heard people say it's gone. I've heard people say it's back. I don't know. Okay, so I did see someone comment way up there that they think uh, Chris and NK were seeing each other for longer than six weeks. I'd say most definitely they were. I'd say it'd be probably three months at least. But I'm not too sure when their relationship actually started. Maybe yeah, this was going on even longer than we thought. Who knows? Well, again, they they all moved from the same North Carolina. She was living there too, and they were he, they were living yeah. there. They all moved to Colorado. That's weird. Uh, Kim Cunningham, well said. Yeah, the the question isn't was she there; it was how much participation did she have. That is true. I mean, there's nothing. There's no real evidence that says she was involved in the murders or anything like that, but there's a lot of things that she did that an innocent person most likely wouldn't do, like deleting all your text messages and trying to break your SIM card, which your messages aren't stored on your SIM card anyway, but yeah, that's pretty weird. Francesca, who's bashing AD? I mean, not, not, not everybody loves the guy, but I got nothing against him. Can't police get back stuff that's deleted on phones? Yes, they absolutely can. And if the FBI, if the FBI was involved, they have it. And just because NK deleted off of hers... They had Chris's phone, so they could definitely crack into his phone and get all those messages. Yeah, Megan. Yeah, it could be. 
You want to know if Dave and AD like each other? I think they do. I think Dave's been on AD's live. Mr. Sherry, you asked how NK knew SW and CW to search me earlier. That's a question without an answer. We'd all like to know. Lots of I can't not. find it. Cheryl Stone, that's pretty mu that pretty much sums up this entire case. You can, uh, we can speculate on things, but we really have nothing to go on. Considering all the stuff we have, there's really no uh, absolute proof anywhere. Oh, Jessica Lynn has an answer. Kathy adds in, innocent people have nothing to hide. That is true. That's why I said the stuff she did, like deleting her messages, not really necessarily something an innocent person would do. I could see someone doing it, though, just because, well, let's say she was completely innocent and had no idea that this was happening. All of a sudden, the guy you're dating, you find out he's a mass murderer. One instinct would be to go to the cops and give them everything you have. Another instinct would be to delete everything and try to pretend you don't know the guy. They didn't search back to 2017 to see that. I do believe when they say that search kit was a typo. I just asked Alan if it would be okay if we showed that part of his video where it shows the the shirt in the suitcase it's definitely in the suitcase hey Teresa mm -hmm. yeah and she just tells her friends to delete message just Colin what are you what are you talking about they didn't search back to 2017 to see that you think that the that when they put in that she searched Google searched in 2017 that was a typo is that what you mean it was not a typo they said it was not a typo it, it was no mistake. Hey, Lily. Oh, thanks, Lauren. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Lauren. I have much respect for all the work AD does, but seriously, let those the Tudes do their own channel. Yeah. I'm not about uh, hating on any channels over here. I don't know what the hell's going on, but I got nothing against AD or anybody really. Well, yeah. People. We don't have any. We I like AD. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah. I got nothing against him. I know he's not for everyone, but I mean, I don't know. Yeah, Kim coming. Uh, I've heard that. And, uh, Doing good, I've, Tammy. I've tried to look for myself, and when I zoom in, it's just all like it's all pixels. I can't make anything out. Hey, oh, on the driveway, the driveway thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, not ad's thing. Something else. I'm just trying to oh. keep up with the chat. Hello, <laughs> Sophie. Thanks, Amanda. She searched Chris Watts in August 2017 and Shanann Watts January 2018. So she actually, that's right, she searched Chris before Shanann. Hmm. No one really knows, Lauren, what what's up with the new batch of Discovery Files because there's a lot of weird stuff in there. There's a lot of stuff that really has nothing to do with the case. And then there's lots of uh, YouTubers posts and comments and Facebook stuff. And yeah, it's, it's definitely weird. Yeah. I've learned a lot. Yeah. Me too. No, Liana, I was not joking and not in a picture. It was, a recording. I wasn't joking. Funny how she never answered that question. Just just gonna throw that out there. She mm -hmm. had nothing to say about it. 
Hey, Julie. Sylvia. Hey, Sylvia. Just tuning in and trying to listen. Well, we're always happy to see you. Is this whole circus going down because someone is trying to turn allies against each other? I think it's highly likely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. They definitely, definitely are out yeah. to disc discredit everybody, I think. Yeah, there's something weird going on. So she search he searched or no, see blah, blah, she searched Chris Watts before she ran. So again, maybe she was friends with Jamie Watts. And Jamie was all like, my brother's with this chick, Shanann. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it could very well be. Jamie did not like Shanann. I know that. Mm. Hey, Kimber, I did not hear from them. Yeah, Tammy, that's a good point. They but that doesn't prove anything, though. I mean, different no. people would react different ways, too. Not that I'm rallying for A and K. Mm -hmm. Turquoise Coast. If I missed you coming in, I'm sorry. This is, chat's going crazy. Intro to NK is a co-worker July 2017. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. I've never heard that. I heard that. Yeah, I heard that before, too. So they were working for the same company back then, too? Hmm. NK is no good. The end. Short and sweet. Yep. <laughs> Archie. I think if there's ever a nut cutting, mine's just might be blown. I don't know what the hell a nut cutting is, but I don't want no part of it. Um, let me see. Let me see something. Yeah, that's a good point, Crisis Cast. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. Hey, Beach Chick. Yeah, I know what you mean, Kat. <laughs> it's crazy. So I'm asking my friend for a video that she has. If she'll get back to me while Mr. Share's live, I'll, I'm sure she's going to say yes, he can play it. Oh, she's texting me right now, actually. Hold on. And you all tell me if that ain't KK with Shanann in 2017 at a Thrive event. Hold on. Was well, that the taste test thing? Jessica Lynn, yeah. There's connect it seems to be connections all over the place. It's weird. Yeah, Jen Lu, yeah, I think so. Aussie true crime roller oh my god, I can't talk. Aussie true crime lover. I think someone said it was January twenty eighteen. They both did Thrive. NK did some marathon thing that the Children's Hospital Shenan worked at sponsored. Mm -hmm. so oh. Carrie's sending me that video link now, babe, if you want to show it. Because there's Is no that way that's... that you showed me? Yeah, yeah. She said we can show that. Yeah, the voice, it sure sounds like her. but It doesn't look anything like what it... we thought she was. Be interesting to get people's takes on it. Do you have that link, babe, or do you need it? I don't know. I don't have anything. I don't. Where did you send it? 
All right, I just resent it to your Facebook. Okay. This is uh, my friend Carrie, who's a psychic, and she was going through some old things, and this one woman's voice, well, like Mr. Fair said, it doesn't look like her, but I guess none of us really even know what KK truly looks like. But um, the voice just gives me the chills because it sounds just like KK. And she's with Shanann tasting Thrive products in, in 2017. Yeah, she was definitely a stalker cat for sure. <clears throat> Okay, I'll share that. This is the one I think that might be Lana. Again, I'm not as sure on this one. Y'all can let me know on this one. Cinnamon roll. Oh, no. Compared to the... Uh, pro, uh, protein bars she's eating now. What do you think? I like the texture of these a lot more. They're not. And they don't have that like weird protein taste. Yes. To it, so. Yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna go to Kim. This is her. This is. This is the girl here. This is who I think Kim is. So just so you know, that she's in the pink shirt. And we are about to listen. Oh. Gotta get it to stop. What's your favorite? I don't know. They're both pretty dark. They're really good, aren't they? I like What's your favorite bun? The cinnamon roll? Yes. Yes. Cinnamon roll. Because it tastes like a cinnamon bun. It does. It's just like. Well, the birthday cake tastes like a birthday cake. I know. I, just, I know. I like. I don't know. I don't feel this like one's a little. Cake. More subtle, I think. Where the birthday cake, you almost just it hits you with like a lot of sweet, and the cinnamon roll doesn't quite. Yeah. And what do you think about texture? Oh, I love the texture. Yeah, it's really good. It's delicious. It okay, now. Ain't that creepy? I mean, that sounds like KK. It does. Yeah, Kiki, I'm with you because uh, everything we've, uh, everything I've seen of what she looks like, that's nothing. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it could be, but I have no idea. Yeah, sorry if it was quiet. I had it cranked. Julie. Now that you play it like that, I, I guess I, I, I don't see. Sound, or it doesn't sound the same to me now, but it did definitely sound like her. Oh, they definitely have similar voices. I mean, they both have kind of like a deep voice, but. Hmm. That's interesting, Beach Chick. Oh, does anybody know if Jamie and NK are around the same age? I think they are. Jamie might be yeah, a little bit younger. Mm -hmm. What's up, Mutt? Hey, Mutt. hey, normal chic. I'm going to put the link if anyone else wants to pop on up. Yeah, I think the hits. I think there's something definitely. There's like an organization in on YouTube for sure to keep things a certain narrative. For sure, I do believe that. It's so weird, though. I mean, what what's the narrative they're trying to keep? Mama Kim just she doesn't even give a really opinions on it. She just reads the discovery. Oh, Jen, I'm sure there is. This probably is an app you can use to compare the voices, but. <laughs> I did say it right, huh? Every now and then I'll get it right. Yeah, better person hitting a few channels. Well, the weird thing is like what Mama Kim had said. 
for a privacy claim, you have to submit a bunch of information. You got to give them a photo ID, a whole bunch of stuff. So it's, it's, uh, it's a pretty serious thing. But I, I don't, I really don't know. It's, it could be a bot doing it too. What's up, Anonymous? Oh, Jamie is in her 40s. Okay. I thought she was younger. I don't know why. Oh, lost my honey. <clears throat> Who knows, Francesca? All I know is I haven't been hit yet, but yeah, we'll just see what happens, I guess. If anybody does get hit, my advice is uh, dispute it. Welcome back. Thank you. Mm. Oh, Jessica Lynn, uh, a few YouTube creators have been getting hit with privacy claims and stuff. I've seen that uh, Luna started a channel now. She has like 240-something subscribers, and she was like... I am the only one that has been able to do things that I have done for Chris Watts. <laughs> only me. Mm. I'm the only one who's got the magic for it. Foxy. Hey, hey Dave Foxy G. Lady. So many strikes, Sylvia. It is crazy. You see twin mom's comment? Mm, yeah. I've never heard anyone call it orange. It looks pretty damn red to me. I don't know. Well, she's got over 300 subs now. Everyone wants mm. to watch a train wreck. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Lana Zoom went to retain lawyers. I'm like, KK kept claiming to. Oh, yeah. Everybody needs to go bomb in the comments of that NK's family and tell her to email me and do the live she's promising everyone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go live with Cher. Mm hmm. Yeah, southern, southern lady. It seems to be just the discovery. It's all getting hit by all by all the creators. Anything with the discovery, it's being read in there. Oh, Kim Cunningham. I have a thought on the mysterious ping. NK needed JG to pick her up and bring her back to the truck because he had already left. That's why she pinged. Hard to say. I did want to talk about that ping, though. Because that, that ping could mean a few different things. Because, like, if, you, if your phone is on, even if you're not using it, every few hours it will ping off of a tower. But also, anytime you get a text, a call, an email, anything, anything that sends data to your phone, it pings. So the fact that her phone pinged then, I mean, did she have it off before? Did it, was there any evidence of where her phone pinged before then? How do we I, know I that? <clears throat> Sorry. I haven't really heard much about that. Give me a new we only saw him pick up one child. What if she went to the house at 6.15 and took one of the other kids? That's possible. 
And not for nothing, who murders children but lets a dog live? That's a sick, sick person. It was 6.15 a.m. and yeah, I agree. Oh, 5.48. Okay. That's the first I've heard that crisis cast. See, we can't even get that right. Everyone's been saying 6.15, 6.16. I don't remember hearing 548. That would be not too long after he left then, like 10 minutes, 15. Yeah, be closer to when he left. NK was checking to see if Chris was home with Shannon because he wasn't at, at work, a jealous stock. I, that's what I thought, like way back when. I thought... Because she knew Shanann was getting home that night. You know, if you were the uh, the mistress, wouldn't you be kind of curious? You know, want to drive by the house, see if you see anything going on? I think I would do that if I was the other person. I'd have to say yes on that one. Yeah. Because we do know she was questioning... She did say to the detective he, she heard the TV on when she was on the phone with him. But if he was in the basement, there's no TV in the basement. So maybe she did get curious, wondering where he was sleeping then. Because there was a TV yeah. in the master bedroom, and she knew that. Yeah, what would. Yeah. I don't think not killing the dog was weird. I don't know, but it does make a it's kind of weird that well, it's just awful that children ended up dead anyway, but yeah, no sheets on the bed too, yeah. But NK went off schedule that day, even with her phone calls. Well, wasn't she, weren't her and Chris texting each other a lot that morning? Yeah, but they didn't have their normal every morning or something like that at like seven or something like that. It's like, it was like religion, like our calls. And that morning she didn't call him mm. at, at that time where she did every other time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but that schedule might have changed a bit because well, I don't know like when Shanann wasn't there he would be spending the night with her and stuff so that might have thrown things out of whack too Jenna, yeah, Cher kicked me off panel so she could call you. Well, when was that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, there's been a, like a couple of weeks ago. There's, I mm. always say I got to go so I can call my husband. There's oh, been a few panels. Okay. I've left even as a guest to people if, they, if they're on too late. Like Mia's like, sorry, everyone knows I got to call Mr. Cher. Got to go. <laughs> Chris was going to give Nicole the dog. <laughs> All about the money. Yeah, it could be, Linda. Could be. That's a good question, Dominique. Who has the dog now? It must be Shanann's family. It is. Junior. Razzleberry. Post them all the time. Razzleberry. Yeah, if anyone else wants to pop up and give their thoughts on good old NK, by all means, I keep putting the link in there. 139 in chat. 
Mm-hmm. That's a good turnout. And Tam Tam. Oh, Leanna wants to send you a picture of KK. Yeah, that's that's fine. I hear voices nineteen at yahoo dot com. Oh, since we're doing emails, I'm sure you guys are getting tired of hearing about it, but I am doing a documentary, and if you want to take part, there is my email in the side chat. Shoulder trailer. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I will show you the trailer right about now. Deep diving into these cases is like dancing with the devil. But when you dance with the devil, the devil doesn't change. He changes you. You guys tired of seeing that yet? Nope. <laughs> No, thanks, Archimedes girl. I feel like you have to factor in Yoda and R2-D2 somewhere in the end. <laughs> yeah, they'll have to make an appearance, won't they? All of a sudden, they just come walking out of the Watts' houses in flames. <laughs> Only Yoda and R2-D2 come strolling out. Guilty we are. Mm. <laughs> Purple. Purple. Hey, girl. Hey, Emma. Gives you chills every time. <clears throat> Try having his face superimposed on your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Freaky. <laughs> you have a dream you can contribute if it helps. By all means, anybody wants to contribute, I'm looking for audio and video clips, but uh, don't send me anything just yet because it's kind of specific how I want you guys to to send this stuff and record it. That's a problem with trying to do a documentary with people sending me stuff is it all has to be like the video all has to match. Stuff like that. But yeah, I'm going to do a whole bunch of... I'll do a video, I think explaining how ever, how everyone needs to to do their stuff and send it to me yeah amber a lot of people did i, I didn't clarify that at the start but yeah it's good to know man some of your guys stories holy i know some i've had some people email me they don't want to to actually be part of the documentary, but some of the stories they've told me are just pretty crazy. What's up, JC Cycles? Babe, can you grab Yoda? Can we ask Yoda what he thinks about NK and her involvement in the case? Yes. <laughs> okay. Ask Yoda a question. Hi, Yoda. Hello. <laughs> Do you think Sexy NK had any involvement? Mm. <laughs> Do you think NK, the mistress, was involved in the murders? That bitch be guilty as fuck. Mm. <laughs> Yoda. Here's the force you must. Mm. Okay, that's hurt my throat. Oh man, that's funny. What about R two D two? S R two D two. I can't. <laughs> I don't have enough teeth to whistle. <laughs> it's gonna be the main. People, <laughs> people, people. Beep, 
Yeah, exactly, Charity. It really has. Oh, okay. Oh, welcome, Kelly Jean. And they had breast cancer. I didn't know that. See, hibbity dibbity in you. <laughs> okay. Hibbity dibbity. Mmm. <laughs> <You wanna? laughs> Wait, how does R two D two say hibbity dibbity? Beep boop 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 beep. <laughs> I got Chewbacca head that makes his girls oh sweet. <laughs> Good. We all need to laugh once in a while. Glad you're laughing, Brendan. Beach chick, yeah. She's coming up in April. Yep. Miranda Frey Teely, thanks for joining the team, girl. You're awesome. Welcome, Miranda. How many is that, babe? 39? That's in the 30s. I think that's 37. Oh, hey, Elizabeth, we're just talking about, well, nothing lately, but we were talking a little bit about NK. We talked about uh, the Google searches and the phone ping. My ex's cousin looks like Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> Why not have joined everyone else? Well, I appreciate it, Miranda. Oh, yeah, she missed just... hibbity dibbity. Dominic Cardinal, there's a lot of people who think that the Thrive stuff may have altered his behavior. And I think that I, could have helped, yes. Yeah. I mean, if someone, if if a person's like, like got that person over, they could go either way. Something like that really could give them the push. But it's hard to say. Mm. Yeah, you couldn't really couldn't do that with everybody unless you're like a millionaire or something. There's a lot of channels out there. Linda Hanley says there was a burner phone found in the basement on Chris Watts' workout bench. I've heard some stuff about the phone, but I've never seen anything come of it. Mm -hmm. did, did the, does law enforcement have it? Or I mean, did they go through it? I haven't seen anything about that. Oh, Miranda, you very well could be. I'm just saying you would have to be to support every youtuber out there because that was a lot oh brandlin says that was debunked <laughs> david i was thinking more like meth man that's messed up i was thinking about buying thrive from shenan watts best friend well there you go well, save Robbie. He does the Thrive stuff. Yeah, but he takes breaks with it because it fucks mm. with his sleeping. Yeah, and if you if you actually are sleep deprived, I think if it's like if you go thirty straight hours without a sleep, you're legally insane. So if he's if someone is sleep deprived, that would definitely affect your personality. One hour drive floor, so Thrive is more like meth than Adderall. 
I don't know. I'm not trying it. Thanks, Sarah. And the phone was not there the day of the murder, but there the next day. Hmm. That's yeah, Chris did have two phones. He had a work phone and a personal phone, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's true, Southern Lady. Hurt Locker 66, I feel your pain, man. I, I got sleeping pills too. I used to sleep great, but having MS, I can lay down. Sometimes I'll fall asleep okay, but yeah, I wake up within a couple hours and I cannot get back to sleep. Hey, Sophie. How's things down under? Marie F, uh, about an hour. We, we've been just kind of talking about uh, mostly the ping and the Google searches. And there's something else I wanted to talk about. Uh, you, do you guys ever see that picture of her where she's in, is it Peru? Where she's like holding a stone up and it's overlooking a tiny little village. Yeah, that shady bitch. Okay, because uh, apparently that village was uh, has a really dark history of doing a lot of child sacrifices and stuff. Now, I'm not 100% on that. Uh, she must have, Barbara, because I th I think she broke her old SIM card somehow. But yeah, anyways, uh, that Peru thing. Does anyone know when that was? That's a good question. It's a clear stone with a scorpion in it. That, that one that she was holding up? Yeah, that happened. In, yeah, that happened a long time ago. It wasn't like ten years ago. And yeah, she's a Gaia. But does anyone know when she, when that picture was taken? Like when she was there? Oh, Aussie true crime lover. Yeah, you definitely want to consult a doctor about that. Yeah. Machu Picchu. That's what it was. Thanks, Forrest. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to say that this was recent, you guys, that the child sacrifices. This was like a long, long time ago, but... Yeah, it's still weird you'd be taking a picture with a stone right there, yeah. Yes. And, yes, she did used to live in North Carolina. But, um, Dwayne Kessinger and, and Nikki, yeah, they all did. Yep. Yeah, so many of them all moved from one state to the, another state. It was very weird. And Kay turned up unannounced and hid when Shannon arrived, then... CW said goodnight and went to the basement. After a bit, Shanann went to see CW and caught them having sex, so a fight broke up. That could be Emma. I don't think but that. I really don't think there was a, a fight anywhere. I mean, there was no real, like, major damage to the house. No one was banged up, like, bruises on the face or anything. But it's possible. Actually, my theory is um, Chris was uh, spooning with Shanann. Had his arm around her, and then he just tightened up. That's why there was no no defensive wound. She didn't even have a chance. She'd wake up just in time to pass out. And all he'd have to do is just stay there for a couple minutes. And that's it. Hey, Gregory. Hey, Tab. CC Clark. Jennifer Maine. If I'm missing anybody, sorry. Uh, 
Oh, charging your crystal up. Yeah, holding it up. That's, yeah. Yeah, purple. She wasn't supposed to be there. I don't know who that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Beast chick. Like, he, he was just laying beside her in bed and then. Well, Tammy, I am. well, welcome, Tab M. Thanks for coming by. Hey, Maybe Vanessa. Nice There's makeup on the pillowcases. Maybe he was trying to smoke. Well, it could be. Maybe she was just exhausted and didn't wash her face before going to bed. But, yeah, who knows? Thanks, Vanessa. Yeah, Dave, I've seen it. I was asking... Uh, does anyone know when that was? Thank you very much, Vanessa. The trauma dog did go crazy in the basement. <clears throat> well, crazy is a is an overreach, but they did they did react in the basement more so than anywhere else in the house. Yeah, that could be Elizabeth. I mean, if you believe the fact that they had that, what did he call it, a passionate conversation or emotional conversation? Yeah. Yeah, emotional. They had an emotional conversation. I don't think Chris Watts has had an emotional anything. The dude is like a robot. I, You know, I hate saying this, but he reminds me of my brother a little bit. Like he's just... My brother is just never really happy, never really angry. Like he's always like right in the middle. <coughs> Has the same kind of personality. A first star barked on the gravel drive before going up to the house. Yeah, could be. There was no car on the gravel drive though. That's been debunked. At least not the morning, that morning anyway. Yeah, Amber, he's an emotional flatliner, yeah. Hey, Robin. <laughs> Linda, no, my brother is not watching YouTube right now. <laughs> Guaranteed. You know, of all the stuff I've... I've been meaning to go to Chris's YouTube and watch that stuff, but I never did get around to it. Peru is where the Celestine Prophecy was found. I've got all the book on it. Film absolutely magical. Yeah. Robin Zins girl. Thank you very much for joining the team. Hey, lower post. Tire prints in the back by the fence. Yeah, I did see that. It's all happening. Yeah. Chris Watts, I think it's still up. I think his YouTube channel is still up. Sarah Jane, do you have something to debunk in the near future? Um, maybe. I'm going to be going over the explosion theory because a lot of people don't understand. It's actually very difficult to get oil tanks to explode. It's not something that can just happen like in an instant by accident. Ugh, that sounds like a good one, babe. Yeah. Tammy, is my theory still the same? Yeah. I mean, for now, and it's not because I, like, I think that NK is innocent. I, I think she's not a good person at the, at the best case scenario. Worst case scenario, she was in on the whole thing, but I just haven't seen any actual proof of that. So my theory still is Chris did it. Does anyone know if the dogs hit on anything in the backyard? I don't think no. so. The I dogs never really hit. Yeah, they never really hit on anything anywhere. 
But, I mean, that would happen. Like, it's not as if as soon as someone dies, boom, the dogs can sense it or smell it. Like a week later. Like if someone died and left, you dragged them out of the room, the next day the dogs come in, they're not going to know. Like a person has to be dead in that space for a while before the dog can actually pick up the scent. It's not instant. It's all happening. Yep, still working on a documentary. Still needing a few people to uh, reach out to me. <coughs> I have a lot, but I know a lot of people say they want to help. But when it comes down to actually doing it, they're not going to. And I, I don't want to... I'd rather have too many people than not enough. Oh, check that out. Yeah, baby. You want my mug on your coffee mug? Check out my Teespring. <laughs> Shameless plug. You know what's funny about that? I ordered one of my coffee mugs and I was going to have it and put it in my videos and all that stuff. The buggers lost it. It's been like a month. Still hasn't shown up. Brad G, I think they had trauma dogs. That's what hit in the basement, I believe. I think they have they had both, didn't they? I don't I don't know. No, I don't think they had both. No? Actually, that sounds right now. I think you're right. I think they said well maybe that's something for you to try and debunk also, because I've heard mixed on there. I always wondered if they were legit cadaver dogs. Yeah, well, someone, Linda just said dog handling is really bad. I mean, how well were these dogs trained? I mean, there's all kinds of questions, right? Tam Tam, why do you think Jen kept saying that's interesting in a couple places in the house? I don't know. could be any numbers. There is a lot of people saying... Well, this is odd. This is interesting. Like, the whole time. Not just the dog handlers. Like, everybody. Jane calls him a trauma dog. Okay. Charity late. Yeah. They shouldn't have. In hindsight, they definitely shouldn't have. But at the time, you know, she just ran away with the kids, apparently. So they had no reason to declare the house a crime scene. Which we, What's weird is how quickly they released the house after it was declared a crime scene. Like they didn't really... It really seemed like law enforcement wasn't too keen on like making absolute sure no one else was involved and nothing. Cadaver dogs can smell within hours and up to decades old. Yeah. Exactly. That's just the thing, though. If he got the bodies out in an hour and a half, even, or less, the dogs may not pick up on it at all. Yeah, they might catch a little bit, a little bit of a scent, but nothing, <clears throat> nothing strong enough for them to actually alert. Hey, CC. Yeah, JC, that could be it. Law enforcement really messed up, but it was a big cover-up. Could be. Jerry Siemens, yeah, the dogs, they, what is it? There's like two things. There's alert and hit. And one of them is definite. And one is just they're catching something, but they really aren't sure. Whatever the dogs did was the lesser one. They never they never had a definitive thing in there. Oh, thanks, Rachel. We try. Why the thermostat picture? Was that because it was a Vivint thing? I'm not too... I can't remember. 
Did they have the Vimit thermostat? Yeah, it, well, in the fridge, right? Oh, in the fridge. I thought it was about the wall thermostat. I, th I don't think. I think it was in the fridge of the temperature in the fridge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would have no idea why that would be relevant. but That's why people think about the he had chloroform in there because it had to be kept at a certain temperature. Because, yeah, he took two pictures of the temperature of the fridge for some reason. And then when he was being interrogated, he, he asked something about the fridge or something like that. Mm. I can't find anybody. Hey, what's up, Dave? We're talking about your girlfriend, man. You want to hop on for a bit? <laughs> Dave's girlfriend. NK. Mm -hmm. His favorite. Yeah. And we know how much he loves NK. Hey, chicken lady. Chloroform is in the fridge. I did hear that he tried to give the kids chloroform. Seeking the truth with Dave. <laughs> I get, hey, how are you? What's hey, up, buddy. buddy. Uh, sorry, I was I was working and I um I just tried to reach her and I didn't realize she was on a panel. <laughs> 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 oh dear, oh dear. Yes, well, yeah. Um, I love it, Kay. Mm -hmm. I love her very much. So, um, so it's all about the Carl Kessinger. Yeah, there's actually something I wanted to ask you about because I heard you talking about it a little bit. But you were talking about when, I think it was when Chris was coming back from Surrey to the house. Yes. You, you thought that he met with NK in the neighborhood or something right before he yeah, got to I the house? Fit, yeah, well, that's, well, I can only, I can only allegedly put that into my opinion. That's what occurred because I believe she was still in the vicinity of the house. Um, up until, you know, N.A. and them entered the house. So I can't imagine her being too far away, you know, like out the back, um, you know, going out through the Minnie Mouse window during the day because I believe she was there cleaning up uh, throughout the day, uh, in my humble opinion. And then what's happened is Chris has actually, when he's come back, his um, GPS has taken him. Um, if you turn left off the main highway and then you come to a roundabout and if you go left of that roundabout, you're going to Steeple Rock and that will take you straight up to Saratoga Trail, straight up into their driveway. But if you go straight ahead of that roundabout, which is what he did, and you go to the very end, you go to another part of Saratoga Trail and from there he turned right and this was at 2.01 p.m. He then went past the house um, called, it was Jason Evans' house at 64.30 to Saratoga Trail, um, and that house had um, camera footage of Chris's vehicle travelling the wrong way up Saratoga Trail. So mm -hmm. he's effectively, his wife's missing. He's not gone home as soon as he's entered the estate. He's actually gone up to the end of Saratoga Trail, turned left onto Black Mesa Road, and it was up there where he's gone to the dumpster. Now, mm -hmm. uh and then this is where I believe, because it's a 23-minute drive from there to Anadarko's offices, I believe that he's met up with NK, they've swapped over shit, he's thrown stuff away. She's then driven to Anadarko, I believe, from there. And if she left at 2.24, sorry, at 2.04 or 2.05, um, 23 minutes has her in the Anadarko car park at 2.28 to make that phone call when she turns the phone back on. That's a guess. Hmm. It's a good guess, though, because the time uh -huh. really works. And it's very weird that Chris took that route uh -huh. to get home. Like, you, you even see when he first pulls up on the body cam, he's coming from the wrong direction. Yeah, he's, he's come up. He's come up because if you, if you, he's come up past the gym to come home, is what he's done. Well, mm. not the gym, it's not, actually, we've worked out C dubs. Um, established that it's actually not a gym. It's just the clubhouse that they have there in the estate. He's come up past there and come up alongside of um, Betty's house to, yep. to pull up on the right um, at the end of his driveway. 
That is correct. So he uh, he wasn't in a hurry to come home, considering there's the police there, and then he's been, you know, at him for like almost three hours. Yeah, and and he kept saying things. like, I called him a bunch of times the first time, and it took him half an hour. Then the second time, he still said it was like over forty five minutes. Like, yeah, he really didn't rush home. No, for, not not at all. Yeah. Worried, yeah. To oh yeah, he, he was. Said he'd be Sorry. He was definitely in uh, like duck and cover mode. He was trying to just, okay, if I ignore the problem, they'll just go away. And it wasn't until she's like, well, I called the cops. Then he had to start yeah, taking and he it said, like, well, Yeah, because he's like, don't call the cops was one of the things he first said. And, um, you know, and then she's gone and done it. And he said he'll be 45 minutes at 1 o'clock. Um, well, he got home at 2.07 and 48 seconds, roughly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, and then, not on the, the top it off, he actually walks into the garage, does whatever he does in um, Shanann's car, with either the wedding ring or the key to the bathroom. It's one of the two things that he bent over and picked up that was shiny. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it was, because uh, there's no reason why he should have had the bathroom key in his pocket, which is where he actually got it out from. When um, after Detective Baumhaver finally turned up 40 minutes later, the first copper, Coonrod, didn't even want to go into the... But he never even said, oh, what's this locked room? He didn't even go in there. You know, like, or even attempt to go in there. You're looking for three missing people. You, you'd want to go into a locked room, wouldn't you? You know, like, if you're looking for somebody. But anyway, that mm. was um, on him. But the thing is, they went in through the garage, and then they actually didn't follow Chris into the, in through the garage into the house. Like... Yeah, they I found that weird. For a minute and 15 seconds, he was actually in that house. You know, like, God knows what he did. Like, seriously, I have no idea. He did something dodgy. You know, so, uh, and then when he's come back down and opened the door, Sandy said, check the knives. But at the same time, as Chris has opened the door, he's actually turned his back to everybody. It's like he was trying to get his breath when he was walking back to the kitchen because he'd been, I think he'd been running around in the house. Like running upstairs and running downstairs and maybe going down to the basement and doing all sorts of stuff. Who knows what he did? Yeah, he had a, a good solid minute alone in that house. Yeah, I hope to see what the hell he was doing. Okay, hey, soul Joe. Sister. Hey, soul sister. I just, I, I just noticed your name there, sir. NK's bestie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 From time to time, I, I like to play. I should have changed mine to NK's ex. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. <laughs> well, yes, this is true. I'm not in jail, so I must have survived. There you go. Yeah. So, so all um, the getting was good. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> so I, I just don't understand, and I don't think anybody understands that uh, the lengths that she went to through those interviews slash um, pow pals that she had with the police to divert everything away from her and, and to then change the whole um, narrative of the story to be about her and everyone should feel sorry for her when poor mm. old Charlotte lost her, lost her dad and she actually made it sound like it was an inconvenience because Charlotte lost her dad. Oh, it's just... Oh my goodness! Yeah, she's a she's an absolute piece of work. Hey, Teresa Ann. Ah, you're just missing a bunch of NK back and forth. That's an interesting question, Coo Cam, because I've heard both. I'm trying to Is find that. Is it true that. she changed her name? Yes. Or wait, NK or Shanann? No. NK. NK changed her name on the fifteenth of October. But did it go through? Uh, I believe I believe so because. Uh, well, I saw something woman. that's legal as of February two thousand twenty-one. It's still using the name Nicole Kessinger. Okay. So well, I she, thought she, that was interesting, babe. You know what I'm talking about? Where yeah. it lists it? Yeah, it's not a different name. It's her name. 
That's yeah, and that, that information was this person is. <laughs> and that was recent as of this That year. information as in 2021. So, but just mm -hmm. because she changed her name doesn't make that name dissipate. So, like if, say, someone had a phone and they just kept paying it and they went and changed their name, not necessarily would their name change on their phone contract kind of thing. Yeah, I, I have, I have absolutely no idea. I haven't seen it. Mm. I haven't seen it. But yes, um, Robin's in, girl. Um, Dave, were the kitchen curtains closed when they first walked in with the cops? Yes, they were. The curtains were closed. Chris walked down that end and actually brightened everything up. Because that room was actually quite dark when Coon Rob was looking in through the window, looking down to the other mm. end. I learned a lot. It says it's public. She changed her name, but not what the new name is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know somebody that believes he actually knows that person, knows her new name, but can't, um, obviously, mm -hmm. for legal reasons, disclose it. Uh, yeah. Because uh, so, you don't want to be, uh, that's technically just stalking at this point. Yeah, I, I was accused by um, a troll of stalking NK. I, I'm trying to figure out. I live in Australia. How I could yeah. actually stalk NK? It's a, it's a, that's a tough one. <laughs> that that's dedication. <laughs> Absolutely. Dude has some amazing binoculars. You guys, you would not believe this shit. <laughs> Can't believe the shit I can see. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so oh, ridiculous. Yep. Oh, you might um, know this, Dave. Uh, you know that picture of her in uh, Machu Picchu, whatever it is, where she's holding up that stone over that village that did all the. Oh, she's got her hands raised above her head. Yeah. Yep. D do you know when that was? No, I don't. But there was a whole heap of recent photos that just got released that I came across anyway, a whole bunch of them. I don't know when they're all dated. I've seen a few on people's sites, but um, I don't know mm. the dates of all these photos. I mean, I yeah, would doubt is... it if she's been overseas and done all sorts of shit and travelled and, you know, because I think she had loads of money after all of this for some reason at some mm. stage. So for a young person, she seems to have a lot of property. You know, everybody seemed to be kind of living the high life like even uh, Chris and Shanann, I mean, that was a beautiful house. And I know, Shanann, I know. her old house was really pretty too. Like, yep. I don't know, these people just all got money coming out the wazoo. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, so other questions here that people are asking was Jim ever interviewed? Apparently, he was interviewed, and apparently, his alibi throws someone throws someone under the bus. And that's third-hand information, so I've got no idea if that's true or not. Um, yeah, but he was I could imagine yeah. they would have spoken to Daniel. Daniel, I keep getting the name wrong. Daniel Hadel. I believe they would have spoken to her because she stayed with NK um, over the weekend, and, and I believe Jim would have had to have been interviewed mm. um, to verify. The three forty-five p.m. meet up on the Monday afternoon, but I think Jimbo was there the whole weekend. So he did have a key, and he was never from out of town. He comes from, lives in Denver. He, he left uh, Wisconsin in two thousand and sixteen to come and live in Colorado. So all he did was have that phone number from Wisconsin. That's hey, all he brought with him. Me, Sandy, O T T. Yeah, that's the thing. They really didn't have money. They were $470,000 in debt. and uh, Three months behind yeah. on the mortgage. Yeah, yeah, they, they didn't have money. Also, the other house in North Carolina, I believe, was in Sandy's name and then was put into Chris's name, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really go back to North Carolina when I think about this case. I only think about <laughs> from the ninth, the ninth of August onwards, when Chris got back, that's when mm. I really focused on the case. 
like there's, there's a whole if I, I mean it's a whole different avenue if I want to talk about North Carolina I don't ever want to discuss that part of my cha- on my channel anyway so that's not something I'm, I'm really want to um, actually talk about because there's all sorts of accusations and things that have taken place around the families that is um, it's never been truly verified by anybody so I don't think it's going back to North Carolina there's all sorts of funny shenanigans um, went on and um, so it's only after I'm on my mic blows well I'm in my car I'm sorry Sky my mic at home is awesome but not this one <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah so sometimes sorry. phones don't don't work so well sometimes they work fine I don't know StreamYard's picky yeah so I'm terribly sorry uh, oh no worries everybody um anyway uh that's about all i can pretty much offer you is because you know like the phone pinging in thornton at 11 sorry at 9 28 to make the phone call to chris and then her phone pinging at 6 16 a.m well, she, as i've said many times she didn't teleport her way there um mm. she made that phone call and her phone never pinged again until the next morning so it's quite obvious she drove to chris's house and his phone did, reconnected with wife by as is pretty much within the minute of him hanging up the phone with her and uh, he's then uh he's uh, reconnected with wi-fi at 1120 and then rings shenan back at 1121 and says you know i'm so sorry i fell asleep on the couch but he actually wasn't in the house mm-hmm. he had walked outside of the house you know, and then after the party earlier on at twelve fifty for at twelve fifteen, his phone connected to Wi Fi PM. This is on the Sunday, and then he left the house at about ten to one to go to the party. Uh, but his phone never ever reconnected to Wi Fi until nine PM. But he apparently came home. Um, well, it was a vivid alert at four forty six PM, and then uh, when he took a photo of the fridge. Three minutes later, he actually took the photo of the chicken breasts on the on the grill. Mm-hmm. Like something very, very suspicious about that. <laughs> Dave, that's so funny. Sorry. Why? What happened? Nothing. You just made me laugh. <laughs> the chicken on the grill. It's so suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't make any sense that he's taken a photo of a fridge in the basement and the next thing there's four chicken breasts on a grill three minutes later getting photographed so yeah that it's such a weird thing to take a picture three of. minutes of each other <laughs> like he took those photos so i i don't know if the kids were ever at home after the uh... party it's the question i've got because frank senior spoke to them on facetime but I don't know where they were when that FaceTime mm. call took place. You know, That's could Frank Senior verify they were actually in the Watts home or were they possibly somewhere else? That's because Chris's phone, I don't know what happened, but his phone did not reconnect with Wi Fi until 9 pm. I know he could have turned off the Wi Fi. But we have evidence that he actually took the photographs, apparently, within three mm-hmm. minutes of each other after the vivid alert of when he got back at 4.46 p.m. Yeah, so that's a good point. Neighbor said they would always be out so many grilled and she didn't see them. Mm. Yeah, she, yeah, that's correct. You know, so there's no verification whether Chris actually, whether the children were actually there. That's, I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. It seems like the more you dive into this case, the Uh, more, you just get more questions. Yeah. Like you never, you never Mm. get a single answer. You'll just get two more questions every time. Yeah. So yeah, the the more you dig, the worse it gets, and mm-hmm. um, 
Hey, get I Jai the cat. Um, yeah, the, the more you dig, the worse it gets, and it's just so difficult for for um, any of us looking into it because there's so much has been kept from us. Like it's like they've just mm. put enough information out there to really piss us off, is what they've done, because it all leads to no answers. Well, a lot of that's true. A lot of it is we're looking for something else. We're wanting something else to be true. So that plays yeah. into it as well. Because anything yeah. looks suspicious when you look at it with suspicion. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, well, absolutely. That's, uh, that's a given. But the thing is, yeah. that woman, is she had everything to gain. Everything to gain out of this. Whereas more so than Chris, because she wanted mm. Shanann's life. She couldn't even say Shanann's name without saying it angrily. She kept calling her the wife, you know, yeah. or the wife. Not Shanann, you know, like Shanann in a nice way. It was like Shanann. The way she said it was like with utter distaste and disdain for her. She did not like mm. Shanann's life, and she did not like the fact that... um you know, she was with Chris because she comes out and flatly lies, says, oh, you know, I told him to go over to North Carolina and sort out his marriage. But why did she spend 300 minutes on the phone to him while he was there? He was sneaking around making 60-minute yeah. phone calls with her and 80-minute phone calls. So I don't think she was working too... I don't think she wanted him to work too hard on his marriage. No. So it just no, makes it. Not. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to. Um, well, thanks for inviting me on. I do appreciate it. Oh, anytime, dude. Anytime. No worries. And uh, yeah, sorry if I invaded your show. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all, all right, good, man. I just, um, I'm. Uh, it's, she's obviously my favourite topic. And uh, yeah, somebody questioned me the other day. Um, they actually wrote, they actually wrote me a, a thing under my um, video, my video roasting. You know how? Why would you know? Like, what if if you had a daughter, Dave, and some fat guy um, in person talking about me? The person wrote some fat guy, you know, on YouTube was um, talking about your daughter in the way that you talk about NK. Um, hello. She's actually a suspect in a murder investigation. She is a su suspect. And she did some pretty dodgy things, and she flirted with everybody in the police force. You know, <laughs> yeah, she and did. she also came in and home-wrecked a family. So, yeah, I don't like her very much. Okay, yeah, having an affair supposed to sing not... her praise or what? Yeah, exactly. You know, like, anyway... I just think it's um yeah, it's pretty low that people come in and get go and try and fat shame me, you know. Like, why would you mm. like? Why would you know? Like, I don't call anyone fat and horrible except wombats, you know. But um, you don't go and like have a go at somebody's physique. You know? <laughs> like, I was, I was just <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, you don't attack someone's body image because you don't like their opinion. Why can't people just move on and not have an opinion or at least say, I don't agree with you and hmm. walk away? No, I can't do that. They just got to, they just got to like, it's like people that say they're going to subscribe and they send you an essay to say they're going to unsubscribe. Um, why didn't you just unsubscribe? <laughs> why didn't you yeah, just unsubscribe? I like those. <laughs> so, anyway. This guy. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, anyway, um, I'm going to go. All right. So, um, you guys have yourself a great night. You too, man. And uh, I'll uh, I'm definitely be in touch with both of you very soon. And uh, All right. and we're doing a we're going to do Avery and Dassey, you and me too, mate. So you got to we got to we got to get round to it. Yeah, I've been meaning to get back in that group chat and start hammering out yep. when we're going to do that. Yeah. Yeah.
Definitely going to be All doing right. that one soon. We will be. And uh, I just got to, yeah, I'm just heading back to work. So I just thought, um, yeah, thanks very much for having me on. And I appreciate the invite. Yep. Thank you so much. Good See you later, Dave. everybody. All the best. Bye. Bye. Later, bud. Bye. It was good having Dave on. If anyone else wants to pop up, by all means. Okay, honey, that thing you said about 14 minutes in. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I think it's about like 14 minutes in. And kids' religion to sacrifice babies. Ah, uh, no, that's not true. The Gaia religion is all about Mother Earth. They do believe the world is overpopulated, but there's nothing in the Gaia religion about sacrificing babies. There's some cult stuff that I've been hearing, though. Uh -huh. Yeah. That was another thing I wanted to talk about. With uh, I started to get to it with the whole Machu Picchu. I'm saying that wrong again. I know it. But you all know that what I'm talking about, that picture. <laughs> Normal chick made me laugh. <laughs> yeah, let's see how, who all thought uh, that the children actually could have been uh, a sacrifice. <laughs> uh, normal chick is funny. Did you, did you read her comment, babe? She said, <laughs> I came too busy sending no, I, cooch. I missed it. I'm trying to find that thing you sent me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to find it again. Oh, she said she's too busy sending pictures of cooch to make sure it came back to her. <laughs> <laughs> uh Okay, I see he's showing a picture of the the word love on the shirt. Yeah. Is there more to that? Well, yeah, when you when you play it, he's just showing the shirt that she walked in the house that night when she came home. People were yeah. saying, well, Where's that shirt? Where's that shirt? And then he'll show you it's it's in the suitcase, but it's like rolled up like she had like I had said before, I think she just got home, grabbed something out of her suitcase to put on to bed, and she was gonna do all the laundry in the morning, I think. Yeah. It's definitely in that suitcase, so but a lot of people have been saying it's missing. That shirt's missing. NK took the shirt, but no, it, it is there in the suitcase. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that to pop up and then I'll show you guys. Hey Catalin. <clears throat> Catalin. <laughs> You're just trying to copy what I said. <laughs> Make sure you said it right. No, we went over that before, remember? Because I was like, is it Kathleen? But no, I got it right. Hey, Smiley. <laughs> AD pointed out, yeah, that's the the video I'm watching through right now, trying to find when he actually yeah. shows it in the suitcase. I can't remember. Machu Picchu. I'll forget it again in a couple of minutes, Soul Sister, but thanks. <laughs> I'm like, macho! <laughs> oh, we're in the macho man savage here. <laughs> Why do I make it so aggressive? It's a wrestler. Why do I have to aggressive? <coughs> <coughs> Also, yeah, they... Ash thought her love shirt was in the walk-in closet, kind of in the middle. <laughs> Macho Picchu. <laughs> now I'm thinking of Roscoe Pico train, Dukes of Hazard. No, you're thinking of the shirt that she was found in, like the sleeping shirt that has the purplish silver heart on it and that was like in you're thinking about hanging up in the drying rack that's inside the police department or whatever 
But the shirt she came home in, everyone was saying, was missing, which it says love in like neon pinkish, orangish letters or something like that. Okay, I'll just share the... Okay, so apparently it's in there. Oh, it's bunched up. Damn it. Oh, it was all over the place. I don't want to play his stream forever. Yeah, I was trying to figure out where it was in there, and I I couldn't find it. It was taking me too long. I thought it was like 15 minutes in, but... Well, now he's pointing to something in the... Oh, maybe it is in the walk-in closet. No. I swear it's bundled up in a suitcase. Could have swore. I'll show the screen again. Maybe it is. So now he's pointing to it right there. Yeah, but see it. Uh oh. Yeah. Anywho. Oh. Yeah, well, does cool. anyone have any other big uh, NK related <clears throat> info they would like to share? I'm going to be cutting this off in about 15 minutes. Yep. Well, what was that? Who was that? What? <laughs> <laughs> when mm -hmm. will that be be in jail? What does this button do? Deep diving into these cases is like dancing with the devil. <laughs> but when you dance with the devil, the devil doesn't change. He changes you. <laughs> Yoda. <laughs> you know about the trailer. <laughs> <clears throat> just Larry showed pictures of possible NK endeavor yeah you know I mean that, that that's interesting and all I just honestly I all I could think was okay I didn't think that was her but assuming it was her now what? <laughs> like, I don't get it. What's the point of trying to find her? <laughs> We're what, what's your stalk. goal? We're all going to get cases stalking and gay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just, it's literally stalking. <laughs> like, yeah. this, this is a, if you guys, anybody out there listening, if you think you saw her or whatever, do not chase after <laughs> her or try to get a picture of her or, you're gonna get in. You're gonna get thrown in jail. This is illegal. Right. You, you don't do that stuff. And finding her is not gonna do anything. We're going to tackle her. I'm gonna take her down. And then what? <laughs> like, I mean, it and proves she's alive, but beyond that, it doesn't. Do citizens anything. arrest. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, Angela. <laughs> it's Slytherin not to the pup or not to go to jail. Read. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> That's funny. 
Perfect. It's their job. If a person, if if I just started following someone, taking pictures of them, yes, it is stalking. <laughs> and I didn't say you were stalking her. I'm just saying, what's the point? <laughs> Larry says I'm paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> I might be tired, you guys. So that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> I mean, it could very well be her. I don't know. I just, I mean, like, so now what, though? Like, <laughs> now what? I don't know why you just make it so much funnier. Nobody thinks of the now what. They just want to find her in the parking lot. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I just don't get it. That woman has no boobs. <laughs> we needed next time, Larry. Ask her to try on a brown bikini. We'll know if it's her. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, just, show me your boobs, and then take a picture. <laughs> Throw a bikini at her. <laughs> try this on for size. Oh, Larry, you took a video of her? It doesn't doesn't sound creepy at all, but. Well, I think, yeah, that's he got the pictures from uh, as a screen. <laughs> Charity says, cash me outside. <laughs> cash me outside, how about that? Oh, my God. I wonder where that girl is now. <laughs> I bet someone did catch her outside. Larry did. <laughs> <laughs> Larry got her outside. <laughs> <laughs> Larry got her outside. Oh, that's awesome. All right, normal chic, awesome. What's up with the whole 35C, please share? Oh, that's a whole other rabbit hole. Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah, Larry, yeah. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, the 35C thing, I don't know. I don't possibly, I don't see how he could possibly get it granted, but it seems to me that getting a 35C is about the same chance as an appeal, and how often do those get granted? So, I mean, he's hanging his hopes on it, his family is hanging their hopes on or whatever, but it ain't going to happen. Sounds like Larry's trying to set up an alibi. <laughs> mm -hmm. I haven't been there since 2008. Making bank with her rap career. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing, Larry, too, because... With us, internet sleuths. Oh, Janessa, thanks for joining the team. But yeah, if they get a plate number or something, oh my God, then all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah, then that person would actually start getting stalked, and that's no good. Hey, MJ. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, Lori Dozer, wouldn't that be nice? But I mean, at what point? Like, Chris has told different stories, so maybe he did already tell the truth. Or maybe he never will. It doesn't okay. matter what he says. Thanks. You can Bye. either believe him or not. Yeah, but you don't hmm. Allison Faye, I'm certain NK must have worked out a deal for info she turned on CDM. I don't think she did because he confessed, like, right away. Do you think they should have treated her as a witness from the go without knowing for sure? Blue Sky, definitely not, no. They should have investigated her further. I heard, I don't know if it's true, but I heard that they were 
that they actually did get warrants for her vehicle and where she was living, her apartment. But then uh, Chris confessed, so they just stopped everything, which is weird. Because until he actually pleads in court, they should still be collecting evidence, shouldn't they? I'm not, I'm not an expert, but it just seems like, what if he'd have just changed his mind? Then they would have to go to court and they had nothing. They had no evidence. Oh, thanks, Larry. Much appreciated, dude. Thanks, Larry. Right, Caleb. He never will. <clears throat> no. Well, yeah. If, she, if they're calling her a witness, it's because she was dating Chris. Doesn't mean she witnessed part of the crime. But yeah, I don't. I don't really uh, buy all that. Oh, it's thanks for still, coming by, Kathy. Bye, Kathy. It's still weird, though, that this so-called murderer stayed at her apartment for six weeks leading up to the murders, like even until the night before. Yeah, and then they didn't, they didn't want to go her take apartment. a boo. Right. Yeah. I, yeah. That's why I kind of thought maybe uh, Anna Darko was putting a lot of pressure on the on the police department to wrap this up, maybe uh, greasing the wheels a little bit there, because really, as soon as as soon as he said he he killed Shanann for killing the kids, it's like they just dropped everything, and that that's just weird to me. It doesn't make a lot of sense. I can't remember who said it too, but they they made a good point. If he says he killed Shanann because she was trying to kill the kids, but then he let NK live, even though everyone thinks NK killed the kids. <clears throat> yeah, that was the weird thing. <laughs> that was the one that got me, is that new uh, that new story where uh, Shanann is dead, Chris, Shanann, and the girls, I'll go, or no, Chris and the girls and Shanann go out to Serbi. NK shows up, and while Chris is burying Shanann, NK kills the kids, and and then Chris comes back and says, like, where's the kids? Like, that is just, oh, such a creepy story. It doesn't even kind of make sense. <laughs> right, Sally. I said that, yeah, they didn't search her apartment. They searched his house and everything, mm. but he was living there for six weeks. Yeah. Yeah, very true, Larry. I mean, no, no matter how you want to look at it, Chris is involved. No way he is completely innocent in this. Right. Yeah, I agree, Mary Rose. Oh, thanks, Normal Sheik. Well, we're getting pretty close to wrapping this one up. But uh, thanks, everyone, for, for coming out and have a little chat about NK. We're going to be doing uh, an all guys live stream about Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey. All that. Now that that's a crazy one. There's so much obvious police corruption, and then nobody's doing anything about it. It's just sad. But yeah, we're going to be doing that one pretty soon. And there's going to be while well, the documentary is coming up, and I'm going to do a video showing you guys how I made that trailer. That's still coming. I got a lot of work to do. And Saturday night on our channel. Oh, yes. I will get the link for that. Cher and I have a joint channel. It's not about uh, true crime. It's about our personal lives and long distance relationship kind of thing. I'll put that channel link in the chat here now. Thank you. Lori Dozer, you're awesome too. So if you guys want to check that out, we're going to be going live on there Saturday night. You can ask us all kinds of questions. We had a blast last Saturday. It was great. So yeah, maybe we'll do that on a weekly thing. But yeah, guys, check that out. You won't be disappointed, especially if you're looking for a little bit of a Watts break. Get to know us a little bit and we'll have some fun.
Check out John Wedger. He's on here. Look for his video on SRA Jenny. And that will tell you a lot about Freemasonry. I actually, I know a Freemason. And he, he's not into anything evil. It's actually one of the nicest, smartest guys I know. I think in, um, um, what do you call them? I guess cults, religion, whatever. I think that there's always people who don't know everything that goes on. I think there's always like a inner core of people that are doing mm. shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. With a lot of cults, that's how it works anyway. Like Scientology, that's, I mean, that's how it is. Oh, shit. What did I do? I agree, Sally. I am a lucky man. Good night, Emma. Sarah Jane, yes, I will talk to Brandon Lynn later. Yep. Good night, Kimber. All right. Let's let's cut her off. Thanks everyone for uh for coming out and having a chat and we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Bye. Bye.